Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life, and I have a garage sale and estate sale finds video for you. About a week ago, I went out on Thursday and Friday, and I found a few things, actually on Sunday too. And this week I found some good stuff, so I'll have one to two more finds video for you. So, it may just be mid-February, but I guess there's just, you find one good sale and, you know, you do okay. So, here's what I found. Um... Went to a sale on Friday, and it was a garage sale inside the house, and I'd been looking around, there was a lot of silk flowers, and plastic wear, and clothes, and blankets, and stuff, but finally I saw a stack of plates, and I unearthed these. This is a, six, a set of six hand-painted plates marked JPL France. Let me show you that. There we go. And I don't believe that these are really all that old. I wouldn't be surprised if these weren't from like the 1970s. Um, we've got a pink one there. Here's one with a, more of a kind of a brownish color. Here's violets, forget-me-nots, pink roses, and then some daisies. And I really couldn't find anything specifically for this. Um, I, I think that probably they wouldn't be that much. I paid a dollar per plate, and I think it'd be you'd be lucky to get somewhere from like fifteen to twenty dollars for for all of them. Um, they just don't seem to be selling that well. Um, but I hated to leave them there for that. And then I noticed at the very bottom of the stack is these green, and I'm gonna get up so you can see the green color. Um, depression glass. Here's the. For those of you who know a lot about depression glass, like Scott from the old Curiosity, curiosity Shop, if I can speak this morning, and uh, Michelle with uh, Thrifting 101, that's what they look like. From what I can tell, these are selling um, 5 to $10 each. And I got those for a dollar a piece. And when I was getting those things and it came to $10, the puzzles were $1 each. And I asked if I could um, have the plates and the puzzles for $10, and they said yes. So, um, got all those for $10. Uh, went to another garage sale in an area of town I don't go to that often, because normally it's just young families selling clothes and baby stuff, and I don't have much luck there. But it was in a much area, older area, and I walked in, and it was a family-run estate sale instead of a garage sale. So, I got this piece of Fenton. Of course, their mark is so hard to see. There we go. Uh, this is that custard glass in this ivory color. And I got this bowl for $1. It was in a kitchen cabinet. It was a really interesting sale. It was more like a guy sale. So there wasn't a lot of stuff for me. But there was unique things um, for anybody that wanted to resell. They were kind of quirky things. And so that probably would have been good for someone. On that same side, side of town, I got late to a sale, and I found this in a box of odds and ends, and it was fill, filled with talcum powder, and I realized that this top says sterling, <clears throat> and that was 25 cents, so I came home and I cleaned it up, and it's a nice, nice glass little thing there, really fun. Then I finally went over to an estate sale, stood in line for a while, and I found this really neat hobnail, blue hobnail, and there's, should say Fenton again, let me look. Yep, Fenton. See right there. Uh, hobnail ashtray. And you know, when we were standing in line, I just, you know, I'm so spoiled. I don't normally have to pay $5 for something, but I did. And when we were in line um, to pay, there was a long line and uh, someone found one online, but I can't, and I know it was worth quite a, you know, at least a bit more than five, uh, but I couldn't find it again when I was doing my research. So that, there's that. I then went to a family estate sale on Sunday. They started on Saturday, and I had been there off and on over the years as they were kind of having little garage sales to clean stuff out for their mom and she had passed last month and they were trying to clear out the house and sell it. And I found just a couple of things. She had a big spoon collection and I had bought one previously, but there's this neat one from, I think it was Berlin. And it is not sterling, 
but do you see where it says 800 silver? So that was, uh, it's a nice little enamel spoon, so it's a dollar. And then I found this really pretty compact. It is a Stratton, and the Stratton is selling for, let's see, about $15. The Fenton Custard Bowl is only selling for about $5. I could, and again, nothing for the other one. I also went to an estate sale and I got, you know how you get distracted? There was a couple of areas I wanted to go to. One that had some neat salt shakers that looked like they might be sterling, and one that had some little baby cups. I spent too long looking at the salt shakers, and by the time I got over to the others, they were gone. So they probably were sterling. I did find this, though, near the bookcase. So you, you never can tell where stuff is going to be. This has, uh, it's a pretty little vase, and I've got one kind of like this I've shown you before. But it is sterling. And my vision is so poor. There we go. Sterling. So it was $2. And those are selling for about 10 to 12. And then also in the bookcase, I found a couple of Bibles. And I got those for a dollar a piece. So a dollar there, a dollar for the spoon, a dollar for the compact. And then in the pantry, everything was 25 cents. I bought 40 canned goods to donate to the food pantry. Um, so $10 for all those groceries. It was, a, it was a great deal. So now, you know, we can go ahead and load up the pantry. I'm from a rural town, but it's the biggest town around. And it only has like 17, 18,000 people. But the other towns are tiny. There's not a lot of work opportunities. And I just feel bad for the elderly people and people that are really trying to make it, even though they're working full time. And you know anybody that needs a help uh you just never know their circumstances so if you can lend a hand give a hand i just encourage everybody to to donate to food banks and help people out hope you enjoyed this uh video if you like this type of thing i'd love a thumbs up and a comment from you so i can chit chat with you about things that we enjoy commonly take care bye bye